Okay, we'll be differentiating r to the third power over square root of r squared plus a, where a is like a constant. And if you would like, you can just imagine a is like 9. And then when you differentiate 9, you get 0. So when you differentiate a, you get 0. Anyway, r is the variable. So pay attention to d whatever right here. And since this is a quotient of two things, we are going to be using the quotient rule, especially the denominator. We cannot simplify this expression right here. All right, quotient rule in action. First, I am going to square the denominator. So I will put down square root of r squared plus a in a parentheses, and then square that. And now, quotient rule says, I will write down the bottom function right here. So that's square root of r squared plus a. And we multiply by the derivative of the top. Derivative of x to the third power is 3r squared. I forgot if I say 3x squared was 3r squared, but you know, it's this, this one. Anyway, we continue. We minus the top function, which is r to the third power. So let's write that down. And then we multiply by the derivative of the bottom function. Here we have square root of something. The derivative of square root of something is first, you do 1 over 2 square root of the same thing inside. So that's r squared plus a. I have to extend the fraction bar now. And remember, the chain rule says we have to multiply by the derivative of the inside. Derivative of r squared plus a derivative of r squared is 2r, so let's multiply by 2r. And the derivative of a with respect to r is 0 because a is a constant. So this right here is what we have. And now we can just kind of simplify it, all right? Of course, we see that the two cancel each other nicely. So we are making some progress. Anyway, let's see what else we can do. All right, all right. On the denominator, Square root and square cancel each other out, so we get r squared plus a. That's pretty nice. On the top, I will just write down the 3 r squared first, and then the square root of r squared plus a first. And then right here, we have minus, and then r to the third power times 1 times r, we get r to the fourth power over this for the denominator which is square root of r squared plus a, like that. What do we have right here? We see that we have a complex fraction. Because we have this fraction instead of a big fraction, so the way to take off this is that let's go ahead, multiply the top and bottom by the, the common denominator of the small fractions. And since this is the only small fraction that we have, so let's go ahead, multiply the top and bottom by just that. Square root of r squared plus a here, and also do it here. And let's see what we have. Distribute, we first get r, 3r squared. We first get 3r squared. This times that, the insides are the same. So you know, we just get the inside, right? So parentheses, r squared plus a. And then this times that. They cancel each other out right here, so we just get minus r to the fourth power. And then for the denominator, I will just write this down as how it is for now. This is parentheses r squared plus a times square root of r squared plus a, like that. And then you see that on the top, we can do a few things. For example, multiply, multiply. Here we get 3r to the fourth power. And then this times this, we get plus 3a r squared. So let me just write down 3a and then r squared. And then from here, we see that. Let me just write this down. 3r to the fourth power minus r to the fourth power. We get 2r to the fourth power. So we can combine the terms. So you just have to be careful with doing all the algebra. You guys know that. This right here was the only calculus step. The rest are just algebra, right? Anyway, this and that, we get 2r to the fourth power. And this right here is just plus 3a r squared. And we have all over that, right? And I think in my answer keys, or maybe the answer choices, this is what I did. 
First, you notice this right here is that saying r squared plus a to the first power. And the square root is the saying to the one half power, right? So I can write this down as to the one half power. And this was to the first power. Because I noticed the base are the same. So you can just add the exponents. And we get r squared plus a and then to the three half power, right? And of course, when you have the half power, that is the square root. So I will put down over and then the square root. So this right here is a square root. And then I will write this down as parentheses with r square plus a inside and then raised to the third power. And of course, this is the answer choice as the half for you guys. And you should recognize if I left with 3 over 2 power, you just chose that, you just choose that. Or you can just also have this times that. It depends, right? And once when calculus, you just have to see what the answer choices are there, you can just choose the best um, choice there, there is. Anyway, this right here is it.